What's up, guys? Hardy Party X2 here, and uh, this is my first episode of WWE 12 Online. And uh, as you can see, I'm in an elimination chamber match uh, for. I was about to say for the WWE title, but uh, no. I'm in an elimination chamber match, uh, tornado tag. Uh, I think somebody's lagging out. Don't quite remember. This is pre recorded, by the way, so uh, I'm not playing the game right now. Okay, Randy Orton, quick pin attempt, John Cena, nope. I don't know any of these players, so, yeah. Sorry that I can't remember, but I can. Yeah, these two just beat the shit out of each other. Uh, Randy Orton's my partner in this match. I'm Christian. I'm in one of the pods. I, I believe I'm in the pod, uh... Okay, I'm not in that pod, because the rock's in there. Yeah, there I am, being all me-ish. Okay, here comes the rock. Alright, um, quick thing. Here's the thing. I had no clue Randy Orton was on my team. Well, I, at first I said, oh, Randy Orton's on my team. So I went out there believing Randy Orton was my partner. So I had no clue. I believe uh, it must have been because I was tired because uh, I can't not see like you know me not having a partner because how am I not gonna have a partner for a tornado tag match so I must have known that I had a partner in here somewhere I guess I just didn't think Randy Orton and I know I don't know how I didn't see that uh, this, it was clearly a tornado tag match. This completely threw me off because Randy wants a douchebag, so he did this. Because of that one move, I have no idea what this match is, and I eventually come up short and win because Randy Orton is a dick. Randy Orton completely fucked me over in this match. He was all like, hey, Christian. And I was like, what, Randy Orton? And he was all like, I'm going to make fuck to your face. And he ruined my logic with his obscene DDT. And because of that, I lose. And that's unacceptable. That is just unacceptable. And uh, Randy Orton, I am deeming you the person responsible for this match. So thanks a lot, douchebag. So Randy Orton is going to be a great tag team partner. Climb up the cell, uh, oh my bad, chamber, and leave me to fight these two asswipes. So Randy Orton is being a dick face out there, pretending to be a gargoyle. Misses, completely wastes my time, and does nothing to help me as a partner. Because Randy Orton is a dick. Okay? So I try grabbing Randy Orton there, because I have no idea that he's my partner. Because he's such a dick. So, Randy Orton, being all gay, doing something for once and taking down John Cena, going on a pin attempt, even though he has no idea how much damage Cena's taken because he's done jack shit in this match. I am pissed, by the way, at Randy Orton. I am just fucking furious with this guy. He wanted me to get fucking confused, too. I could tell. He wants me to get confused. And I remember somewhere in this match, he just... Yeah. Fucking Irish whipped me outside the ring. I don't know. It was probably accidental, but because he DDT'd me at the beginning of the match, it didn't seem accidental to me. It seemed like, oh, this is a regular elimination chamber match, and Randy Orton is a enemy. So every time and every, like, grapple attempt or punch attempt that I go for on Randy Orton is a complete waste of my own time and his. So it's all Randy Orton's fault. And Batista, this wonderful guy. Batista. I feel so bad for him. I completely fuck over Batista in this match. She's also my partner. Batista is my second partner in this match. And wow. Batista saves the shit out of me a bunch of times. He doesn't save Randy Orton because Randy Orton's a dick. He saves me because he knows that I have talent and I actually give a fuck about this match. And he knows that I'm confused because Randy Orton fucking DDT'd the fuck out of me in the beginning of this match. Oh, that was a weird glitch. Um, yeah. So, watch. Batista comes. Yeah, helps out. That's not the first time Batista helps me out, though. And Batista only helps me out when I fucking need help. 
Okay, so I'm just working on the rock over here. Batista's kicking Cena's ass. He's beating me up. Thank you, Batista. Working on the rock's leg. I've been actually done this a couple of times to the rock in the match. I was hoping to do a submission to the leg, but I don't think Christian has one. Pinning the rock is like the biggest pain I have in this match because the rock refuses to go down and Batista helps me again. Yeah, but the rock would not go down. Um, after Batista is gone, I tried getting the rock out and the rock is like, he's taking a lot of punishment because I've been doing those quick DDTs just to get the rock damaged because I know this guy is not going to kick out uh, unless we give him a lot of damage. So I'm just working on him and working on him and working on him. And I work on the rock for the majority of this match. And uh, nothing seems to change. Oh, Randy Orton's outside there. Hope he dies. He's a fucking whore. Randy Orton is a man whore. Look, he didn't even break up the fucking suplex. That's about to happen to me on the ropes. Oh, wait, no, he got eliminated. Oh, I'm sorry, Randy. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. I didn't realize. My bad. You're still a dickhead, but my bad. Where are you going, Randy, huh? Hope it's the fiery pits of hell. I'm no better than Randy Orton in this match, because I do not help my partner either. Even though I don't hit him, I give him no support. What I'm doing is trying to get The Rock eliminated, because he's like fucking... Uh, he is the equivalent to Robocop in strength and durability, because you can't take The Rock down. I'm sorry, but in real life, The Rock isn't like this. If I hit him... He will go down. Okay, I get John Cena out here, and it kind of helps. And I, ho I think that's Batista's gamer tag that I requested a friend request. But no, it can't be because he's actually doing things in this match. It's either John Cena friend requested me out of respect or what. And if he did do that, then he's a fucking little kid because only little kids do that shit. Unless the guy was really good and you want him to be your tag partner and get some wins. Which I do a lot. <laughs> Alright. Okay. The Rock taking some foot to the face. Alright. Okay, The Rock is really annoying. I think this is where Batista meets his end. Last ride. Is that a last ride or just... Oh no, he just stole Batista's finisher. Can Kane do that? Maybe he said it as a thing for Kane. Anyway, signature, watch this, watch this. I already did uh, a non-prettier, I mean, uh, kill switch, uh, The Rock. I do it again after two signatures, two kill switches, and a bunch of damage. One, two, and no. The Rock kicks out. The Rock kicks out. Okay, I understand people are good at kicking out in this game, but dude, honestly, how good do you have to be? Stay the fuck down. It's annoying. After a while, it gets really annoying. Oh my god. Alright, now I try taking out Kane because I realize that not a lot of damage has been done to him. And he is a threat, so I want to do as much damage as I can to Kane. And this is where I lose. I don't think I leave this area of uh, this part of the elimination chamber. Because I just get raped over here. Okay, like gang banged in the corner over here, and I don't get to get back into the ring and try again at Rock. Try to get him eliminated, and then see how I do against Kane. Okay, I do. Wow, okay, I was lying. So, I'm back in the ring, being on me-ish, but I want to get Kane because he is, like, not damaged whatsoever, while The Rock has sustained a lot of damage, even though he is, like, uh, in this match and refuses to go down. So, yeah, I'm working on The Rock. Uh, oh yeah, that was, I didn't want to get grappled, so I ran against the ropes, and does this move work? It does. Yes, so I do that, I do the little fucking, yeah, see, Kane, oh my god, if I, I, I swear, I was trying to do that to The Rock, and because I missed, it cost me the match, Kane gets me in these submission holds time after time, I try to out, you know, button mash Kane, doesn't work. Kane has me again in that hold. Puts me in another submission hold. I fight out of that one as well. I know that Kane means business, so I know I have to run at Kane. Try to get as many moves as I can. I miss. I'm trying to do my finisher. I miss. He gets me in the bear hug. I tap as hard as my little fingers can. And what happens? I'm afraid your hero is not able to prevail, and I lose. 
This is Hardy Party X2 signing off.